Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 26th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the Firebase API. Okay, so in the last tutorial we hooked our application up to Firebase, but all we did is use the Firebase endpoint for our data right here and we used that to retrieve the data. Now we could carry on like this and we could use this endpoint to post data to Firebase, etc. Or we could use the Firebase API, which makes it really easy. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use that Firebase API to get data and also post data to our database. Okay, so in your console, what you want to do is head over to this home link. And then when you're there, click on this add Firebase to your web app icon. So if you click that, it's going to tell you how to add Firebase to your web application. And it asks you to copy this snippet right here, which has all the config for your Firebase, copy that and pop it in your application. So we're going to do that in a second. But first of all, I want to show you this link also, get started with Firebase for web apps. If you click on that, it's going to give you a massive documentation to Firebase and how you can work with it in your application. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm going to go through just a couple of methods to get data and post data. But if you read through this, there is tons of information and I am going to do a complete series on it as well in the future. Anyway, let's go and paste that snippet in our application. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is head to our index page, which is down here. This is where we're going to paste that JavaScript snippet. So I'm just going to come above the closing body tag and paste it right there. I'm just going to scoot it in a little bit as well. Okay, so now we can use Firebase in our application. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to put the Firebase hookup in this service right here, although in a real world application I would do, I'd keep it all in a service, but I'm just for simplicity going to keep it away from the other service that we've created and I'm just going to keep it all in this directory component. So what I want to do is first of all retrieve the data from Firebase using the API. Now in order to use the API, first of all we have to declare a Firebase variable. So I'm going to do that at the top right here and to do that I'll say declare var firebase and this is going to be of type any so we have to do that before we use firebase in this component so let's save it now and come down here and create a new method which is going to go out and grab data using the firebase api so i'm going to call this method fb for firebase get data and inside this function we're going to say firebase which is that variable we just declared dot database and that's going to go out and get a hook to our database but then we need to say dot ref and dot ref provides a reference to which point we want to enter our database now we want to enter at the root level since that's where all of our data is stored we've not made up any specific collections yet and that is just something like that for the root level but if we would have made up a collection for example called ninjas then we would do something like that and then we'd reach into the ninjas collection in our database. Like I say, all of our data is just at the root level, so we'll stay there. Okay, cool. So now we've reached in and we've got a reference to our data. Now we can use an event listener called on child added. So I'll say dot on and put child underscore added right there. And what this is going to do is listen out for whenever a child is added to this reference on the database. So whenever we add something to it, a new ninja, okay? So when the application first loads up, it's gonna look at the uh, database and it's gonna see four child added events at the minute because we've got four ninjas on there. And then if we add another ninja down the line, it's gonna see another child added event and it's gonna fire this function right then as well. So this takes a callback function and I'm gonna use a fat arrow function again. If you've not got any idea what those are, check out my tutorial on those. I'll leave the link to that video down below. So this fat arrow function, this callback function, is going to take a variable, which is a snapshot of what is retrieved from this database when this child added event happens. So it returns to us a snapshot. Okay. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. So let's do this fat arrow function and first of all what I'm going to do is just log this snapshot to the console so you can see what it is so console.log and snapshot cool so if I save this now and we actually also need to call this 
method right here on ng on init. So when the component starts up, it's going to call this function because nothing is calling it yet. So we'll say fb get data. Okay. So let's save this and head to a browser to see what it logs to the console. And the reason we've got an error is because I've been stupid and I've not said this dot fb get data. So let's refresh again. Okay, so this time it's loaded and we see these four snapshots logged to the console. And like I say, we're getting four at the minute because when the application first loads up, it sees those four items, those four ninjas in the Firebase database that we've got. And for each one of those, we fire a child added event. So it's logging the snapshot four times. And each one of these snapshots refers to each ninja. Okay. Now, if you try and open these and navigate through them, you're just going to end up in a maze of absolute gibberish. It doesn't mean a thing. So how can we extract some kind of meaningful data from this? Get the ninjas themselves dead easily. All we need to say is snapshot.val and it's a method. So if we save that now and refresh, this time instead of seeing all this garbage, we're going to actually see something that is meaningful. So there they are, those four snapshots and the values of them. And each time you can now see it is just an object and each object is a ninja. Pretty cool, right? So what we're doing there is retrieving all of that data when the application first loads up. And we can also retrieve this data every time we add a new ninja, because remember, it's listing out for this child added event. So if down the line, I use this application to add a new ninja to the database, this child added event is gonna fire. This callback function is gonna retrieve a snapshot of the child that was added, and we're gonna retrieve that object back. So then we can add it to this application right here. So instead of logging them to the console right now, why don't we add them to the application? So I'll delete that. And what I want to do is now say this dot ninjas, which is referring to this thing right here, up here. And I'll say this dot ninjas dot push. This is a JavaScript method because we're going to push an object to the ninjas array. So dot push, and we're going to say snapshot dot val, like so, and that is just that ninja which was added. Okay, so if we save this now, then we want to also comment out this because we don't want this to fetch this data anymore. So we'll comment out that, save this again, and head to a browser going to get rid of that console and now what we're doing is we're grabbing that data from Firebase and each time we get a snapshot we're adding that snapshot to this ninjas array at the top okay so we're adding four in total and then we're outputting those ninjas to this application right here pretty cool right so that is how we get data from Firebase using the Firebase API I also want to show you how to post data, but for that, we're going to have to create a form on this application itself. So I'm going to do that in the next tutorial because we're approaching about 10 minutes now and I don't want to make these too long.